I'm sharing another story because I feel like we need more examples and demonstrations of God's love and action. Um, there was another time when I was on the phone with a friend and he was at a gas station and he was telling me he had saw someone who used to be um, a part of like their youth ministry at their church and she appeared to, you know, have an addiction. She was at the gas station um, asking for change. Now, whether all that can be inferred from her being at the gas station asking for change or what have you, that's neither here nor there. That's not the point. Um, I asked him what her name was and uh, he didn't know her name. He just remembered her face. So when we hung up the phone, my heart just went out to her. So I, I pray sometimes and I say, Lord, give me a heart to respond to things the way that you would. So understanding as much as I did about the story, I just started praying and before I knew it, I was like in this deep weeping and crying out and it wasn't for me, it was for her. I said, Lord, whoever that young lady was at the gas station that he ran into today, Father God, that used to be in church. So I, I, I realized that, you know, I didn't know her name, but God knew her name. God was actually there at the, at the gas station. If you believe that he's omnipresent, he's everywhere. And for me to pray for her, I didn't need to know her name. I, I didn't, I didn't need to know too many details of anything, but, um, you know, he knew what I didn't know. And I just started praying for her. And like I said, before I knew it, I was crying out deeply for this girl that I, I don't think I've ever met. And that I certainly, um, didn't know whose name I didn't know, but we as being, um, Christ as having Christ living within us. That's the kind of love and concern that we're supposed to have for one another. A love that does more than just warn. A love that believes. A love that hopes. A love that wars. So that's just an example. You don't have to know people's name, but if you look and you see somebody struggling, if you hear somebody talking about somebody, what have you, the Christ in you, your heart should go out to that person. Your, your heart should want for them to be whole. Your heart should, should desire that same wholeness and fullness and joy and, and redemption and restoration that Christ Jesus was for you or is for you. You should want that for other people. There's so much love to go around. God says that he's come so that we may have life and have it abundantly. There's no scarcity in the kingdom. There's enough for everybody. And I just wanted her to be made whole. I just wanted her to be made whole. And I know that God is bigger than any trial or tribulation that we go through. He's bigger than any pain. He's bigger than any guilt or shame. And I knew that I, I know that he's able to restore her. I know that he's able to transform her even now. And I still pray for her from time to time. And then after I got finished praying, when I, when I told him, I said, you know, after we got off the phone, I started praying for that girl. And I said, um, God is going to allow you to see her again. And the next time you see her, she won't be like the first time. She's going to be transformed. She's going to be restored. And I believed that. That was the message that I got in my heart after praying for her. So you never know how you can be a blessing unto somebody. You never know how you might be saving somebody. So you might not get to see it. You might not get to see the before and after. But by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, plus your works, your works of, of praying sincerely and earnest, earnestly, um, you can change people's lives that you may never get to meet. So I just encourage you to pray more pray more pray more when you see people and it looks like they're sad or it looks like they're suffering just pray for them you don't have to know what's going on you don't have to know their name just say god the man or woman i saw earlier you know they they look sad they look down turn their sorrows to rejoicing or whatever comes to your heart to pray god bless you